Hey guys, the Catch 2 here, and it's a new year, 2014, so that means a new start, a fresh beginnings. And on that note, I would like to point out, some of you may or may not have noticed, that my videos, most of them, have been deleted. Now don't worry, it's nothing to do with the new content, uh, copyright system. I took down the videos. And there's, it's really simple why. I really didn't like them anymore. I felt that those videos were really wooden and stale and forced. The information is mostly, largely all good and sound. But I just didn't really like them for, for not for the content, but for the way I presented those videos. So I just wanted to get rid of them, new start, new identity. I wanted my content, I want the content of this channel to be a little bit more natural, a little bit more free flowing, and a little bit more entertaining. Maybe I can accomplish all three, but certainly the first two are my priority. Entertainment value may may not be uh, come out of those naturally. Please God. Oh shit, I said please God. Don't tell anyone. So, anyway, new year. So it's a new video. And today I'm going to be responding to a video that was supposed to be telling us how much of our food is uh, GMO and spent about probably about half of it bashing GMOs and where she said as a start she's not going to do that but let's not get ahead of ourselves and he's and he's, ladies and gentlemen welcome to the first video of 2014 on this channel are you eating genetically modified foods which foods contain genetically modified ingredients or GMOs how do you know if a food is genetically modified or not? Which foods are natural and which foods were genetically engineered by scientists in a laboratory? In this video, I'm going to answer these questions so that you know whether or not you are eating genetically modified foods. Now, I'm not going to discuss in this video whether or not genetically modified foods are dangerous. Yeah. I'm aware that here in the United States, the industry claims that genetically modified foods are perfectly safe. Not only industry, but the FDA, the US National Academy of Science, the E Commission, and the World Health Organization, just to name a few examples of organizations that have said that GMOs are perfectly safe. However, I want to point out that genetic modification is a controversial issue worldwide and genetically modified foods have actually been banned in several different countries. Because politicians are always beacons of knowledge for science and technology, right? I also want to bring up the point that we have a right to know what it is we're putting into our bodies. And I agree. I am perfectly all for labeling GMO products as GMO. However, you're your own worst enemy because you're turning away people from your side because they're seeing you lying and mis misrepresenting the science and they don't want to support you. You're literally turning people away from a good option by lying. You don't need to lie and it drives me crazy. It absolutely drives me bonkers because of this. All industrialized countries other than Canada and the United States legally require that a food is labeled if it contains genetically modified ingredients. So in China, Mexico, Japan, Italy, and Brazil, just to name a few, if a food contains genetically modified organisms, there will be labeling on the package. And in countries like Austria, Hungary, Greece, and Bulgaria, it's actually illegal to grow or sell genetically modified foods altogether. So, since when are politicians the best sources for science and technology, as I said before? What really matters in any sort of debate about science is not the law, it's the data, it's the hard facts, the experiments, and the analysis. By survey, 92% of Americans think that GMO foods should be labeled. 
it's clear that people want to know what they're putting in their bodies. Nearly 1.4 million Americans have signed petitions requesting that the FDA require this GMO labeling. But the biotech industry, big agriculture, and big food manufacturers don't want you to know whether or not their foods contain genetically modified ingredients. Because... Because misinformation from your side is actually poisoning the debate about GMOs and toxicity? Yeah. Americans eat more GMO foods than any other country in the world several times over. And America also has the highest obesity rate. Now there is a correlation between high consumption of GMO foods and obesity. Yeah, that's the full clip unedited. She really just said that there's a correlation between GMOs and obesity. Now, a lot of people out there, my uh, viewers, would know that their correlation does not equal causation. However, she herself goes on to debunk this, pretty much, in the next few seconds. But likely that correlation is due to a variety of different factors. One of the main reasons that genetically modified ingredients are linked to weight gain is because the majority of genetically modified ingredients are actually found in junk food. Now, I couldn't really find anything to back up this claim, and there is, of course, no source that she has on her video to support that GMOs are mostly found in junk food. And it was a bizarre claim to me at the start, but when I started to think about it, in my opinion, the reason she made this claim was to lessen the lessen the importance of GMOs and their potential to cure or to help lower the impact of worldwide hunger and drought ridden countries such as sub-Saharan Africa and other such places and it's really kind of a despicable move now if you can find a source where this is true please do let me know I'm, I couldn't find anything maybe Maybe I just done goofed. <laughs> but please do let me know if you find anything. And I'll put it in the annotation and I'll give you full credit as well. So, thanks. Is there any evidence that GMO foods are even harmful? In a recent French study, it was found that mice on a GMO corn diet developed tumors and had a higher mortality rate. Oh yes, the Serlani paper. Now, um... Brilliant YouTube user by the name of Miles Power, down below, link to his channel and to the video in question, did a brilliant video debunking the Solani paper, just going through what exactly is wrong with it. And it's very easily accessible for our lay audience, so I really do suggest you go and look at it. Now, there are a couple of main points that I want to bring up about the paper that's actually echoed in Miles' video. And the first is the sample size was too low. There's only 10 rats per group, which is not great which is actually actually you can't get any data out of that the mouse used in the study or the, sorry the rats used in the study were uh, unsuitable they spontaneously grow tumors they have been well documented to spontaneously grow tumors and the data is very messy but what i was able to make out as well was is that if you drink roundup and you're a male you will live longer than if you were just drinking water. So, yeah, so great job. Also, the paper was, just for, you know, for your information, the paper was retracted uh, late last year. I think it was in no around November 2013. And around then. So great job there. You used a crap paper, which suggests you didn't read it, or you did read it and didn't understand it, or you did read it, you understood it, and you presented it anyway. So, what is it? Are you lying or incompetent? Please let me know. And consumption of cottonseed oil has been linked to sexual dysfunction and even infertility. Now, I was kind of confused when she brought this up. Yes! There is a compound in the cottonseed plant called gossypod that does provoke infertility, 
For an average man of 90 kilograms, it would take 270 kilograms, though, to produce infertility, but yes, that does happen. But it wasn't because that I was confused. It was because this is the actual unaltered plant we're talking about. No genetic, genetic modification necessary. So it's not really an argument against GMOs. It's just an argument against using uh, cottonseed plant. Now, I wonder what that is. Well, I assume she's uh, preying on the, scient uh, the people who wouldn't know any better. Dishonesty at its finest, folks. Anyway, that's the end of the first video of 2014. Uh, hopefully more to come. If you have any suggestions about videos I should make, please let me know below or open the comments or wherever. PM me, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. So yeah, the kids too, out.